What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for your favorite day of the week, episode two of Not a Jags podcast. And I am joined here today <laughs> with three very special guests. We have Bailey in the studio. What's going on, babe? What's up? Bailey just got her hair did. Ooh, I, you, you, yeah. you, you can't see it right now, but... It's very nice. It's very nice. She cut it down to her shoulders. It was about... It was like, what, down to your chest at the yeah. time? and. She looks like a mom. <laughs> she, she's got like the all. She's got the let's let me talk to the manager haircut. Oof, <laughs> she, that's deep. That's, <laughs> the, Bailey's like the type of person you don't want to mess with at a Target. <laughs> <laughs> that's what uh, you look like. I thought you said there was a deal. <laughs> There's no deal. You look like the type of person that would just get really mad if something got fucked up on your receipt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so today we're not talking about sports. Uh, that was the last episode. Um, we have a cat in the studio as well, um, Nut. She'll, you'll probably hear her. Sp- you might have heard her already in the beginning. She was yeah. she was meowing at the beginning, but you know she's she's just being a nut. That's why we we <laughs> named her Nut. Um, God, when did when did you even when did Kitty come about? Uh, I call her Kitty. I would say 2016. Was it really? Has it yeah. been that long since you've yeah. had her? August two thousand sixteen. So I fr- so you got her from Barnage's mom, right? Yeah. Barnage's is my friend. Shout out to Barnage, but yeah. And then she was the, she was the runt of the family, so she's mm-hmm. a she's a tiny little cat. And oh, you, right shit. now <laughs> she's so she's making her presence now. Maybe maybe I can get her onto the mic. Oh oh, oh you hear? Her? Kitty you got you gotta say some words. All right, <laughs> Kitty, what do you gotta say to the people? Okay, you can promote whatever you're trying to promote right now. Make sure you tell them to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> All right, thank you. What a cameo by Nut. That, That's funny. <laughs> she's like, I know you're talking about me. I was trying to get her to tell her story because you can't, you can't tell her story. You don't know what she's been through. Oh no, no, not, no, not she, at all. No, yeah, I mean, she's pent up in a house all day. <laughs> she's not an outdoor cat. <laughs> Bailey's she's scared to let Nut outside. I'm very scared. And and explain why you're scared. Because she's been an indoor cat her whole life. I and she's so curious, so curious. And I'm like, no, there's no way she can survive. No, she'd run out in front of a car because she was curious of why something was moving down the street. Like our street has a big history of getting hit by cars. Yeah, our Too street soon? is very busy. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I the other day I was coming i was just got home from work and it's a friday night so you know it's party time now that now that <laughs> tree gets off at a decent hour i get off at five o'clock now so you know i was going to my boy colton's house shout out to colton if you're listening and you know i was about to go outside i roll outside there's fucking three cop cars an ambulance and a fire truck and i was just like what is going on and then i guess allegedly a little girl got got hit by a truck but she's okay she didn't get hit by a truck. She got like clipped. She clipped. got clipped by a truck. Yeah, she. she uh, I know when I come home all the time, um, she's always in the street, and I'm like, little girl, come well, you on. Know, you know, and we had me and you had this conversation. But if you are an upcoming parent, which we are not, yes. but but if you're if you're, <laughs> if you're an upcoming parent, the single-handed dumbest thing you can do as a parent is to get your kid a basketball hoop. And not just get your kid a basketball hoop. I'm not saying your kid shouldn't have hoop dreams, but <laughs> have you, them in the backyard. Have not it in on the, the backyard. Why would you have a basketball hoop in the street? Yeah, with your cars? little ass kids. And these are young kids. Like I'm talking, they're oh, still yeah. in elementary school. Yeah. And you know they're just playing basketball in the street. And whenever there's a car coming, they're like, "Get out of the road!" And you know, and like I get it. It's kind of nostalgic because I mean, I'm sure the parents. That's true. I'm sure the parents had basketball hoops in there mm-hmm. and their street but it's just that's not how it should be you know make yeah. sure you have like an established yard or just an established place to put a basketball hoop yeah my basketball hoop was in gravel i did not have a basketball hoop <laughs> you didn't have a basketball hoop i thought it was just common sense that it shouldn't be in the street <laughs> if you have little kids with balls that do move and do roll down the street so i just don't know 
Before you get, if anybody gets on Bailey for giving parenting advice for not having a kid, she's worked at a daycare for the last two <laughs> years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's, uh, she told me that she needed to get in and out of this because she has to have at least one hour on her phone. Me and, me and Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> Before bed. <laughs> Before bed, she has to be on her phone for at least an hour. So I can at least, like, save some stuff on Pinterest for the <laughs> wedding, you know, look at some videos on YouTube of yeah. families. Yeah, we should we live stream the wedding? <laughs> should, comment so down below if you want us to live stream the wedding. Because I got that new toy. Oh, yeah. I got that new toy yeah. that my work got me. You guys saw it. Like, did you see how cl- crisp and clean that picture was? It was beautiful. Quality. Straight, straight freaking quality. <laughs> so, you know, as a couple does, we sit on the couch a lot. We watch a lot of Netflix <laughs> and Hulu because, I mean... When you, when you when you first move out, I mean, I know most of my listeners that are listening are in their 30s. So like, I mean, they've been through it, but you know, you guys can relate. When you when you first move out and you don't have kids, like there's just not much to do. Like you're you're just you're just in this small secluded box. So I mean, like like all you can do really is watch TV with your significant other and we just got done watching American Idol. Oh, don't get it. <laughs> Started. We watched the whole, every episode. Well, she watched every episode. I kind of just sparingly watched it. I My favorite, my favorite contestant was in the final two, Alejandro. <laughs> <laughs> and he got gypped by Lane Hardy. Fuck people that want to party with a Hardy. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, it's not like, I'm not actually saying like fuck people. But like, yeah, no. I just don't. I just didn't think he performed well. I just didn't think he didn't. He didn't have the, oh, the, oh, the, the charisma as much as Madison Vanderberg. Madison she Vanderberg. She was seventeen years old, and she literally sang like Kelly Clarkson. She had the biggest notes, everything. Like she was, she performed to her like extreme talent each time. Like she performed a song, but with Lane. Mm, I don't know, bud. Well, and then we were talking about this. Me and my me and my boss were having a conversation at work that Lane Hardy kind of used his own brand to get himself over. He wasn't even going to compete in the season at all. Yeah. And, and he's just like, you know what? I mean, I'm going to play guitar for you. Don't worry about that. But I'm also going to steal your chance at a winning American <laughs> Idol. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how it went. He fucking comes in and he's like... Oh, I'm not auditioning. But if he fucking comes in and plays the guitar, you're telling me, you're telling me, Lane Hardy didn't come in there to play the guitar, and he didn't, and he didn't expect to even get asked to come in. Like he, he knew, he knew, he knew he was gonna get be begged back into the competition because you knew how the like the way that Katy Perry reacted when he walked in. Oh yeah. Oh man. I mean, I would kill if Katy Perry reacted like that if I walked into a room. Oh my gosh, but. I just wish Madison won. I think she deserved it. She she was good. I also thought that Lacey girl was good too. Oh, Lacey K. Yeah, Booth. Lacey K. Booth. Yeah. Yeah, I loved her too. She was really nice. Yeah, yeah she was good. Me and me and Bay are reality TV show buffs. We mm-hmm. love reality TV, and we were watching Survivor, and well, we we got rid of our cable because that was just kind of unnecessary at the point because we just we don't watch TV outside of reality shows so you know we were watching survivor and then this season sucked it was it was just boring to watch but on the bright side we have a new season of big brother on the I, way I'm so excited. and it's supposed to be an all-star season but like how are we gonna watch that though you know that's kind of the problem i think hulu really needs to make a deal with big brother like now so <laughs> we can watch it like yeah. hulu if you're looking out just <laughs> buy out Big Brother. Live stream Big Brother, please. <laughs> Even if you have to do it illegally. Because <laughs> we, will, we will not survive without watching Big Brother. We will watch it. Okay. Even, even like, even especially if it's an all-star season. If it's an all-star season, I have to watch it. Like, there's no way I'm just not going to watch it, you know. Anyway, so we're getting married. Did you know that? Oh. Never knew. Yeah, we're getting married. And you know what's funny is that uh, I was rewatching some old videos and I was watching that uh, the big life update video. Oh and, my god! I and then that. and then I just we were like I put my arm around you and I was like we're getting married. And then you're like, oh. but then we were just moving out. And the funny thing is is that video dropped a year ago, two days ago. 
Ooh. So we knew in May we were moving out. That is crazy. So and now we're and now we're actually engaged. So that that video came kind of full circle. It was that's wild. But. I didn't know that. Huh. So we're getting married May 9th, twenty twenty, and Bay is going so hard in the paint <laughs> for this wedding. She she comes back right. So I go I go shooting with my friends. I'm from Idaho, ye motherfucking ha. And, <laughs> and I went out and I went yeah. and I shot some guns with my friends. Well, you, you know what? I went yard sailing. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then she she old ladied it up and went yard sailing and and I come back from uh, shooting and she's like look at what I got so this is the stand we're gonna put the notebook and then this is the blanket we're gonna she found all this shit at the yard <laughs> sale like and she knew exactly what she was using it for and I'm telling you right now if you're trying to get married right now uh, yard sales are the way to go I I, I agree <laughs> yeah you know I, what like you can get so much stuff and so much like vintage looking things that totally work for like this day and age now because it Everybody loves it. I mean, the, I was just astonished for like how much good shit she got at a oh, yard I got sale. Maybe so much stuff. That's why I think like that's why Bailey needs a YouTube channel because <laughs> because you know she doesn't need to so she doesn't just get to experience my reaction to the thing she gets so you guys can experience it. So she'd be yeah. like, look at this, and you know I think that'd be a good idea for a YouTube channel. Honestly, it's like countdown mm -hmm. to the wedding. Oh, that'd it, be a good idea. And then it's just you like. Oh, getting getting yeah. stuff ready for the wedding and whatnot. Like wedding planning yeah. and things like that. I don't know. Maybe it'd get boring. No. I don't know. You know, I think that, uh, I don't know how many of my listeners would watch it because <laughs> well, mo cause most of them are grown men, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some of them, some of them are loyal. Like I'm sure, I'm sure a couple of them would. Well, I'm sure you'd be in some of them though. Oh yeah. I'd be in them. That's the only, that's the reason you should subscribe right there. And because Bailey's an attractive young lady, <laughs> but don't be doing nothing weird. Bailey's oh, videos. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> but please. Anyway, anyway, so May 9th, 2020, we're getting married. Um let's do uh let's do a little bit of some relationship QA here. Mm. So the day I asked you to marry me, the second I said, Will you marry me? What was going through your head? Just, just yes? Is that all that was going through your head? <sighs> well, when you asked it, it was like at a really Really, really, really fancy restaurant. Fanciest restaurant I've oh, ever been at. Oh, fanciest thing I've ever <laughs> been to. And I was really nervous and very, like, I was kind of embarrassed. I thought I was underdressed. We both were kind of underdressed. Yes. <laughs> we're, like, 20. We yeah. We're, like, 20 walking into this restaurant that's so fancy and everybody's in suit and ties. And, yeah. like, we're, like, just in a button down and I'm just wearing a dress. Mm. It, it was weird. And, uh, I don't know. I wasn't thinking of, I wasn't thinking about much because I was just, like, <laughs> but when he like got down on one knee, it was so fast and so quick, and I was like, "Fuck, dude, oh, this is it! Thank God I got my nails done." You know? <laughs> well, that's that's the whole reason I made sure you got your nails done. Cause I was like, I know that if I was gonna ask you to marry me, you didn't want to have no ratchet ass looking nails. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And I don't know what what are you what are you most excited about to get married to me? What is what is your most exciting? Um, mine is probably the wedding day ooh. and the reception, like just to have, cause we've been together for a really long time. And I think that not to be selfish, but I think that our love should be celebrated mm -hmm. because we've, we've been through so much shit, like thick and thin. Like, I mean, I had a seizure while driving. I mean, we've had relationship issues, mm -hmm. you know, all that. And, you know, here we are. And I think that with how much we've grown as a couple, I think that to celebrate it is going to be a very, very good thing. Oh, yeah, for sure. We went we went through a lot, and a lot mentally, yeah. a lot physically. I and didn't hit her. Uh, no, that's not, <laughs> no, 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 that's not what was happening. I was meaning, like... I know what you mean, I know what you mean. Like, I was going through a divorce, like a divorce with my mom. Yeah. Like my mom had a divorce, so I was going through it and yeah. we had to rehome Keystone and Trev took her in for a little bit, which was really nice of him and I don't know. And it's been a I don't know, it's been a journey and I went to college for a little bit and yeah. that was kind of hard cuz I just I had so much work to do, but anyways, <clears throat> 5 years, yeah. 5 years of dealing with each Loving other. this guy. Which is wild. <laughs> Which is a bit... Why? Because <laughs> you're so hot and I'm oh. so... 
tree. I think you're cute. Oh, awesome. look at you. <laughs> look at you. So, by the way, if you guys are interested in a live streaming wedding, I think for the whole reason you should tune in is that we're going to have a dog as a flower girl. I haven't decided. Oh. I haven't decided. I can't if put I want that on her. the billing. Yeah, not yet. I haven't decided if I wanted her to be like the flower girl to walk her down or if she was going to be kind of the maid of honor. Yeah. Not sure. I'm still looking into it, but she's going to have like a floral collar with the floral leash and she's gonna walk uh run now probably <laughs> yeah. if if i call her name because she's like my best friend yeah and but... uh keystone's been in the in the studio the whole time <laughs> she's just sleeping mm -hmm. she's a she's a very good dog i mean i i've never had good dogs i had a big fat chihuahua named chica who <laughs> we just went to visit with keystone and she did not like that no not a bit <laughs> not one bit <laughs> She didn't like it at all, but Keystone's always, you know, really relaxed. She never has a care in the world. She knows we're talking about her. Yeah, because her tail's wagging and yeah, she's she... still laying down. <laughs> she's like, say more good things about me. <laughs> please. Can I have treats? Can I, can I please have treats? Yeah, she's been around for quite a bit because uh, she was my childhood dog. She's been around longer than me. Yeah. Childhood dog. Um, when I was growing up, I had five oh. dogs. Total? Yeah, I got it, yeah. I think it was five dogs. And... Well, let's talk about your mom for a little bit. What? Your mom just got another dog. Oh, and he's <laughs> so cute. Is he a cutie? Yes. Yeah. He's a, what is it? <laughs> but your mom has, what now, four dogs okay, and four cats? Okay, hold up. So She used to have ducks. Okay, yes. We used to have ducks in Waha. But that didn't go well because they started being assholes. They, they started, they became grown ducks. Oh, yeah. They, they went from cute little we baby did, ducks. We did not expect that. Okay, we didn't that expect lesson, the ducks to grow up. Lesson learned. <laughs> but she yeah, had bunnies, too. Oh, we had, no, uh, that was somebody else. But uh oh she, right now, she has a puppy that is a pit bull. And, it looks like a pit bull. And, a pug? Um, in America. Something bulldog? Know. Bulldog. I American think. Bulldog? Yeah, it's a little um, thick, wrinkly boy. Um, and then it's a boy, she right? has Rusty. Yeah. Yeah. His name okay, so the puppy's name is Buck. Yeah. And he's so sweet and chunky. <laughs> and then um there's Rusty, who is a German Shepherd Husky. She, mix? He looks like he looks like Doge, like the meme. He's just a big yellow dog. <laughs> he's huge. He <laughs> yeah. could be a bench. <laughs> He could be a bench. You could literally sit on him and it would be no difference. <laughs> um, we have Coon, Coon L Bear, L which is... Little Coon. She's a little roly-poly, <laughs> little Tootsie Roll-looking thing. The oldest one, right? Yeah, she's currently thir 12, I think? 12 or 13, and Keystone's 9 yep. or 10. And But she's a Chihuahua and Pomeranian mix, and she's the oldest out of them all. But... Those are her doggies right now. We used to have five, though, when I was growing up, and there was just, oh, I loved it. It was so nice. There's so many dogs. Yeah, there's so many pups to, to love on and You know, at least about. at least you're a dog girl, not a horse girl. Girls that really like horses are weirdos. Oh. That's a proven fact. Are you, you sure? Have you known it? Yeah, there was, like, a study. Oh. There was, like, a study done about, like, weird horse girls. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I think that'll wrap up episode two of Not A Jags podcast featuring Bailey in the studio. If you want more of Bailey, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you haven't yet, you can check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks. Follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new videos on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Those are just straight facts. Bailey, you got anything to say? Any parting words before we hop out of the studio? Mm, no, I'm good. Love right. you guys. Alrighty, guys. You guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.